Welcome back, everybody, to more MTSU Dynasty here on College Football 25. We are back here today. Got a tough matchup. We're going to have Ole Miss ranked number four. We're having to go down there and see if we can find a way to, I guess, try and upset those guys. I don't know. Odds are not really going to be in our favor to upset Lane Kiffin and his Rebels, but I guess we will see. But before we get into things, you know, we got some recruiting we want to handle here early on. So, uh, Matt Callis looks like he is pretty, pretty stuck on going to Temple. Um, he's already has them very close to his top three. We're kind of still struggling even being like that top five part of it. Like where the bar is, at least that is. So it sounds like he's going to be off to Temple, which is not what we want, but it's all good. Um, we still have another quarterback up here who we have yet to really break any ground on with Jameson Ismail. So guess we'll see you know what we can do um we do have some more uh, people added to the board we added a crap ton of linemen so we're gonna scout up some of these guys see if we can we find some gems we got a couple three stars i think on here as well so we'll see what we can do um but with the free up space i think we are gonna try and look for another quarterback um that we can get here added in here and see maybe there's something here i mean we're gonna be locked out of most people as well when uh, it comes to that part uh, there might be somebody here yeah, tavares He's an improviser, so not terrible. Um, so we probably probably be the first guy we throw on here. Maybe we can find something here. Especially since Ismail is considered a bust. Might not be the right guy to go with a quarterback here with Ismail. Uh, let's look at his scouting stuff. I don't really recall what he's got. Accuracy and stuff is not the, the bad. His throw power is nothing crazy. But, you know, I mean, well, I guess for him being a junior, it's nothing crazy. It's really not the best, but... Uh, we'll see what Cameron Tavares is about. And, you know, maybe we find something out of him. His accuracy is not as good, but he is younger. And he's also considered a bust. Yikes. A little bit slower as well. So, you know, I think we're going to remove him off the board. And, you know, we might have to be a little... Um, maybe we shouldn't be too picky when it comes to the uh, quarterback. Just because, you know, we kind of right now don't have anything crazy in our uh, team right now but it's not like oh we desperately need a quarterback coming up for this upcoming next season so we do have people there but yeah we're gonna see if we can maybe scour this maybe there's some guys here that are free that you know wouldn't mind being able to be recruited i've got a deal break yeah okay he's already being scouted out so yeah we're trying to find some people that maybe aren't already being scouted and offered up at and right now it looks like four stars we may be sol and yeah, it looks like that's the case uh, we got Chuck Witten here. He's 465th uh, ranked. Might be a guy who wants to go to Georgia, Clemson, Alabama, UT, North Carolina State. He's a field general. Ooh, Bruce Wolford. UCF, Florida, Florida State, Georgia, FAU. This is a pipeline for us, so maybe consider this. He's a scrambler at that. 555th ranked. 6'4", man. Dude, is huge. It's only 182 pounds, though, so it's kind of on the... On the smaller frame side, and I keep backing in there. I'm kind of a little all over the place when it comes to this uh, board stuff. So, why not? Let's take a look at Bruce here. Maybe we find something, you know, interesting here out of him. Let's see. Got a 94 throw power. 96. Ah, yeah. Go out. Yeah, he's a gym. Yes, sir. Go after him. Give him whatever the heck this dude want. Send the house after him. We want Bruce. <laughs> we want him badly. Give me Bruce. Let's go, man. Hopefully, nobody else is going out, though. Even has Bam on here. He is close to his top eight being cut off, though. So, I don't know if that means we can still hop in there or not. Hopefully, that scholarship does a lot of work for us and whatnot. But we got 75 hours to deal with. And, yeah, I'm going to go through this board and kind of start scouting some of these offensive linemen that we really need to take a look at. Uh, definitely need to move some guys around. We need these. Let's move these three stars up higher. Actually, can't even do it from this screen. Okay, well. I guess we gotta do it from the from the any screen, but yeah, I'm gonna go through here. I cut through and uh, I cut back. Okay, well, I, it wasn't I wasn't gone long. I mean, heck, all I did was reorder some stuff, so we really could only scout out one dude. Though. We got Roger Ankra, or Ankra maybe. So uh, yeah, it looks pretty decent, not too bad. Um, it's a three-star prospect out of Georgia, and we threw him the scholarship, so hopefully we can kind of get in the running there, and hopefully we're starting to make a move on some of these guys that we do have scouted. Maybe we can move up a little bit more. We need to get some points into Javon Hare right now. That's our only running back prospect we got going. So we might need to move something off of somebody else. I guess we'll see. But yeah, right now, it is tough sledding over some of these guys. It's, I don't know, man. Bruce Wolford, right now, that's my number one guy for sure. I want Bruce badly. 
Hopefully we can end up getting him, but we need to find a way to crack this top eight first, and then we can start, you know, pursuing him hopefully a little bit more. But, yeah, St. Augustine, Florida, can we find a way to... He might not be considered a big fish, but he's a gem. He probably should be a four-star prospect. Based on that stuff, he should be a four-star at minimum. But let's get into it, boys. Let's head down to Ole Miss, and let's see if we can try and pull off an upset. I'm not expecting it. You never know, though. You never know. Can we start off 2 -0? Bob Miller, let's get the boys right. Let's get that first upset of the, of the series. Let's go. And welcome to Bob Hemingway Stadium, where the Rebels are ready to take the field. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here. And you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. All right, welcome to Oxford, everybody, where the Blue Raiders will get this one underway as we're going to end up kicking this one deep. It's going to be about a yard deep in the end zone. Actually, no, he's going to get it right at the goal line, and we are going to start off this one with, no, oh, Ole Miss is actually going to break a tackle before. He's running back to the 19-yard line, and we'll see what they have. Caden Prickershorn? Priestcorn, maybe? Priestcorn? I, I'm not exactly how you pronounce his last name, but all good. Let's see what we can do here. See what they got out of quarterback Jackson Dart. Young star wide receiver. I mean, quarterback, not wide receiver. Sweet geez. And they're going to start off in the air here. And he's going to throw a pick to Curtis on the first play of the game. Curtis has it. He's going to run it back inside the 20. First play pick, you let us see it. MT is gearing up to get ready for a, poten a potential upset. Let's go. And man, I just bit the hell out of my cheek talking. My gosh. That was not comfortable. Okay, well, we try to get Jackson Dart a little bit of credit, and he starts off with a turnover. You love to see it. All right, well, we know the stadium pulse is going to be buzzing. We got to see if we can get an early lead and maybe get this knocked down a bit here. I'm going to hand off Frank Peasant to the outside, inside zone. Hey, great, great penetration early up front. It did not allow us to go where we wanted to. And it's going to set up a second down in nine as we try to bounce that one outside. All right, body auto. Let's see what you can do here. Go, got a man into the end zone. Wide open, Kalen Stewart, touchdown. Stewart's got it in the back of the end zone. But we kind of blindly threw that one. I just saw that somebody was open. And we are able to get in for a strike. It's an early 6 nothing lead here in Oxford. Let's go. Kellen Stewart able to hang on to the junior slot receiver. What a duck of a throw. He just beat ever who was over there. And that is going to be an early Blue Raider lead. Let's go. You love to see it. The crowd is quiet here to start off. Got to figure they'll be bouncing back here at some point. But, hey, two-play drive after a pick to start off the very first play of this game. Maybe we got some brewing here. Let's see if we can continue the good stuff, though. Here's the run back, and he is going to get it past the 20 to the 23. And here comes the Rebels again. All right, let's see how Jackson Dart fares in his second drive. Gonna creep up to the line where they go to the ground. They will go to the ground this time. They don't want to see him throw another pick right off rip. It'll be a gain of one, and oh, boy, they are a, a no-huddle team. All right, well, that's going to be this the first time actually dealing with this. So let's we'll see how this ends up faring out for us. Going back to the ground game here, and good stop by Curtis. Actually, no, that's not Curtis. Who's number 10? Uh, is that Francis? Yeah, okay, that's Francis instead. My bad. Here we go. Trying to get up the field here. Third down and six. Defense coming to get a three and out. They're going back to the ground. Wow. And they're going to end up picking it up. you got to be kidding me. Bentley picks it up. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Went back to the ground three plays in a row. Where they go for a fourth? And he's actually going to throw an RPO. He's got the first. Uh, he's going to be just shy of the first, actually. Here we go second in inches. Will it go back to the ground game? Uh, they are. He's going to keep it, though. He's got nowhere to go, though. Blown up in the backfield. Jackson's got him. And even when they lose yards, they are going to be going for it. I mean, uh, going no huddle. All right, well, here we go. Can we get off the field? Third down and two. And it's a quick little hitch route. Got the first down up to midfield. First and ten. Here's play action. Dart taking a shot down. Field. Oh, nearly intercepted. Oh, my goodness. He had a pick six last week. This time, Harris can't hang on, though. Oh, my goodness, Harris. We needed that one. 
would have put it into this drive. Another pick for a uh, dart it would have been. And here's a, f nope, gonna be just shy of the first down. Here's a big play though, to gain a 10 defense. Looking to find a way to get off the field here on third and inches, but they were more than likely gonna be going for it from this range. Will they run the ball again here? They will, and it's stopped in the backfield loss of two. Kiffin's aggressive. We know he was going to end up going for it. Can the defense get off the field? Fourth down and two coming up. Right now, he does not look like he's really trusting his quarterback too much. Will they go back to the ground, though? It's going to be an option. Dart has it. Dart has the first down. Cuts it up the middle of the field, and he's got it. All right, defense, boy. They're making them work. We are making them work. Unfortunately, we're just not able to get off the field. Second and five. Play action pass. Looking downfield. He's got a man. Touchdown Ole Miss. I thought we had an opportunity for a pick there. Unfortunately, not able to make a play on the ball. And Ole Miss strikes for the score. Jackson Dart bouncing back from the first play pick. Uh, Ole Miss Rebels. Getting, getting up to tie it up. Yep, stadium post is all back. <laughs> well, that was a good drive from Ole Miss, though. Defense, we had some opportunities. Man. We just couldn't, couldn't get off the field. I'm going to start this one with a pass play. Pink down for a young rocking here in Oxford. Second down and eight coming up. We're going to the ground. We want Peasant, but Peasant can't slip through the crack. Defensive lineman putting us in the dirt here. That'll bring up a third down and eight. Looking to see if we can extend the drive. Back to throw. Looking downfield. Got a man. Unfortunately, he's hit as he throws, and it is going to be a three and out. Not what we were looking for here to start, especially after the touchdown we just gave up. And where are y'all going? Like, why are y'all going wide? I do not understand why y'all literally have a beeline to them. And then you decide to go wide. So play, we'll see them running like Road to Glory and stuff, and it always loses y'all. It is a guaranteed loss of yardage in Road to Glory. Of course, CPU runs in, they're able to pick up a yard at least. So going back to the ground here, and oh, well, he's going to end up stepping down the sideline, making a man miss again, bouncing off tacklers. And you literally Bentley. Is absolutely making a fool of this old, uh, not old miss. This MTSU Blue Raider defense. And Dart hands it back off. Running back once again. He'll get hit hard, but he's got a first down and goal at the nine. Oh, miss looking to take the lead. Their first lead of the day is almost intercepted. We had a cornerback try to jump it. Yeah, McDonald had a pick last week versus FCS. Unfortunately, not able to break on it. And get the ball this time. Hand off here. Jackson Dart's actually going to keep it on the read option. Nobody wants to freaking turn around. That's me running that read option. I guarantee you they are turned around and they are right there ready to take them down. Instead, it's going to bring up a third down and goal here. Got to expect they're probably running the ball again. That's pretty much what they've been doing the whole game. And they are going to go back to the ground and he's in. Bentley scores again and... Yeah, right now, this is probably going to be well, not. He doesn't score again. He scores for the first time today. But, yeah, this is probably where this game is going to end up being going. All right, well, let's see if we can get a little bit more out of our offense this time around. They're going three and out. Didn't need that at all. And, my God, my, my offensive line I'm just sitting in the damn backfield. He's just sitting in the backfield. Go up there if you're just going to fucking just sit there and not block anybody, dude. So, loss of two. Back to pass. We're going to have to get out quickly. Going to the air, hitting Peasant out the backfield. Peasant's going to end up picking up a first down. Well, we've got to run one more play before the end of the quarter. This crowd is rocking. We've got a man going in motion here. First and 10 back to pass. Going to see if we can drop a screen play. Peasant's got it. Peasant trying to make a man miss. He's going to pick up seven to end the first. All right, so a couple of passes to the running back there. Ends the first quarter. We're down seven. Surprising we even actually have did as well as we did, to be honest, but... You can see the rushing numbers. We cannot run the ball at all, and they are running all over us. Got a third down and one coming up. Offense looking to see if we can pick it up and stay alive. Got a man. Got the tight end. He's got a first down, and oh, ends up stepping out of bounds. Maybe they'll continue that one upfield a little bit there. Third and ten. Back to throw. Looking downfield. Got a man. It's Stewart out, uh, out, out the slide. I'm about to say out the backfield. He was not in the backfield. But Stewart's got it. Stewart's been huge for us. Slot receivers just seem to be, like, the way to go. Like, you might even be better off putting your best wide out in slot sometimes. Looking down. Feel, oh, what is getting picked. That. Too many people in one area at that. Dude, quarterback, what are you in? It's a pick six. 
Well, quarterback just sitting there throwing a fit with his damn self, and that is going to be a house call for Ole Miss. 73-yard pick six. So we got three guys pretty much standing in the exact same area. Trying to just throw it over the head, and it just didn't work out at all. This is what we expected, though, when we played Ole Miss. We knew things weren't going to go well. That was, oh, man, we just kind of chucked it up there, but. Yeah, yeah, it is 21-7, and right now, offense looked like they had a little bit of life that last drive, and now it's. It's possibly going to end up going down here quickly. And picked off again. Wow, another misfired throw. That one was on him. We have no control over you not being able to throw a slam. And, well, it's going to bring Ole Miss back out here on the field. That is not what we were looking to see. We got great field position now. Going to end up hitting a quick fire over the middle. And, okay, Harris, wow. Just, just no effort. You just got outran by a tight end, dude. How you feel? Harris has a 90 speed. That tight end had an 82 speed. So, not sure how he just got absolutely just blown by like that. But, hey, he did. And, this is, yeah, this is looking to, to be a very, very ugly game. It's down, it's 28-7 now. And we are not looking that we're going to have much of a fight. Tiato is apparently how you pronounce his name. And, yeah, he just misfires there. Wide open man on the out route. Well, maybe I shouldn't say wide open, but he's open. He's open. He just can't hit the throw. Peasant here. Nowhere going. We can't run the ball. I mean, we are literally outclassed. We knew coming into this game, we weren't really going to have a shot. And it's showing it. Well, at least you, that's the only person we can apparently throw to is uh, Stewart. Kellen Stewart is literally the only person we can throw to. It don't matter what mode you're in. They, they offensive line play is horrendous. Like they really need a tweak. We're gonna go to Sherman here. Sherman's running with it with one hand, <laughs> and you're running it with one hand to the wrong side of the. Uh, you got the ball on the wrong side, man. If you're gonna run with it with one hand, put that thing on the left, not the right, in the field of play, man. What you doing? Second and six. RPO. Bro, breaking a tackle as a tight end. Willis making a man miss. Well, it's got a first down inside the red zone now to the 15. Offense finding a little bit of groove here. They find a way to be able to strike again for another touchdown. Back to the air here. Got a man on the corner. I guess who is Kellen Stewart again scoring? His second touchdown of the day. Kellen Stewart, boy. That's all it does. It gets open. The man knows how to get open in that slot. You love to see it. He's a mismatch versus a lot of DBs, apparently. Yeah, we're at 28-14 now. You'd love to see it. Maybe our defense can make a stop. I mean, it's kind of hard, man. That that no huddle is difficult to deal with, man. You really need to be in the right personnel. And they're running a lot out of shotgun, too. Big hit. He didn't get past the 15. Got to the 11 and got rocked. All right, here we go. Second out of eight. Be wary of the run. Oh, going man in motion. We'll play action here. Looking down. Fitty got sacked to Shakai Woods again this year. His third sack from the D tackle position. That is not the position you expect to begin a bunch of sacks. But he's got his third already of the season. And this one's going to be a screen. Nowhere to go. The defense stepping up here before the two minute warning. Let's go. Offense score. Defense got rejuvenated. Let's go. We might actually have a shot here. We can score again, baby. Let's go. All right, Kelly, deep to return here on this punt. Going to give us good field position. Kelly's going to break a tackle. Kelly inside the 40, down to the 37. Minute 49 to play. Let's see if we can do something before half. Much easier said than done, though. <laughs> that is for sure. But we do got a wide open man, but we can't connect with Kellen Stewart. He doesn't have the ability probably to throw in the run the best. And this crowd is rocking here in Oxford. Dang, his pulse is maxed out. The number 20 of the ranked uh, stadium, I guess, when it comes to this. We're going to drop back to throw, though. Back to pass. Looking downfield. We're going to just take off. Vadiato's got a lot of room to work to the 10, to the 5. He'll be dropped out of bounds at the 4. That's a huge run right there. And why is the only play we're getting is slants? We're going to try and put this one on the ground, though, I think. All we got is RPOs. That's fine. Put it on the ground. We'll see what we can do here. Try and find a way. Peasant's going to find a way to cut it back inside, and he's in. Let's go. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. We're trying to find a way to come back. Don't call it a comeback just yet. But we're giving Ole Miss a little run for their money. Let's go, boys. 
We gotta find a way to keep them off the board. And they're going quickly with an out route. We don't have the tight end. I mean, the linebackers to keep up with this tight end, man. Damn. Hell, I say they got cooked by him. That's a huge play, though. They're already are they in our territory. Well, they might as well be in our territory. Sheesh. One play, and they're already up here. Ah, of course, he went over. Man, I mean, that, he sat down. He just kept, like, scooting over and over more, man. Like, damn. All right, here we go. Big third down in inches coming up. Can we get off the field? They're running a split wide thing or whatever you want to call this. Look, UT likes to run it a lot, and of course he ran straight. There's no way in hell he just had a streak. I promise you, there's no way they just ran a streak. What was the play? Bullshit. Bullshit. They ran all go from that formation. Who was doing that on third and inches, man? All right, let's see if we can try anything here. Before the half. And, ooh, Sherman's going to be able to get a grab. All right, we'll get a timeout. I mean, even if we can find a way to get in field goal, we're going to have to get pretty damn close. Because I imagine kicking it here is going to be a nightmare. Got a man. Omari Kelly's got it. He's out of bounds at the 45. Here we go. Yeah, going to take a review of this. I think he's got his feet. He's got two feet in. Drag the foot every day. That's good on Sundays. And Nate Burleson says, get that toe drag swag action going, baby. Downfield, got a man. Sherman's got it. Sherman hangs on for the first down. 13 seconds remain here before halftime. We're looking to find a way to strike. Able to step up in the pocket on the run. Obviously, we're able to hang on after getting straight a lit up. Where we at? We at the 35 yard. We still probably need another 10, 15 yards at minimum to be even in a somewhat of a field goal range. But we're gonna take a shot deep. Sherman's got behind the coverage. It's a touchdown. Eight seconds remain here in Oxford before halftime. Let's go. Sherman getting behind the secondary and he is able to score. And that what an offensive performance so far. Javante Sherman, the junior. Just able to get that off before we got absolutely smoked. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go. A shootout here in Oxford. Now, that is one thing. Ole Miss is not, you know, shy of being in shootouts. They are not. So, we can just find a way to, you know, get a stop defensively. Well, first we get the ball at halftime. But, yeah, we can just find a way to score. Get a stop defensively. Maybe. Just maybe. We have an opportunity here. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Vaught Hemingway. Well, to my surprise, did not realize that my audio ended up cutting out the rest of the way. So, yeah, this entire second half is going to have to be a voiceover. And so, yeah, that's unfortunate, but we're going to have to, you know, pick up the pieces where we left off. So we are underway here for the second half, 35-28. We're actually going to end up coming out the end zone right here, which ended up being a mistake. Not our best decision there, but here we go. Hope you guys enjoy the second half. Hopefully it all ends up finding a way for us to make a nice comeback here. Down seven. We'll see what we can do as we start the second half. Dropping back to pass. Going to hit our underneath man. It's our tight end, and he'll end up picking up a first down here. Picking up a gain of 13. Uh, what is that? About? Maybe about a gain of 15. I'm not exactly sure where we started off with that drive, but the post... Is absolutely off the mark right now. We're going to try and get this one to Frank Peasant. See if we can establish something on the ground. It's been tough sledding all day on the ground. But Peasant's trying to find a way to get through. Here we go. We got a third and a three. Looking to pick it up. Back to throw. Looking downfield. Got our tight end. And it is going to be just shy of the first down. We bring our fourth and one. And we are going to go for it here. It's a big time situation. Need to find a way to make something happen. And we are stuffed in the backfield. Tyler Banks shutting the run down and Peasant has nowhere to go. And Ole Miss takes over a great field position, but they're going to get a sack here to start off on first down. Ralph Mincy getting home, getting the sack, makes it a second and 15. 
They're down to 15. They're going to go to the screen game here. They're going to hit it to their wide receiver, trying to make a man miss. Breaks a tackle, but chopped down to size before the 30-yard line. And Ole Miss will settle for the 48-yard field goal. It is college, though. These kickers aren't guaranteed to make it. He's got good legs. But will he have the accuracy for it? And this is right down the pipe. And Ole Miss extends their lead to double digits now. 38-28. We've got to see if we can find a way to respond back here. Variato. Back to throw under pressure, firing over the middle of the field. Got his man, it's Omari Kelly, getting a big one up to the 44-yard line. Here comes the offense. Maybe we can get this back down to a one-score game here. First and 10, back to throw, taking a shot downfield. Where's Javante? And he's got him. Sherman out running him to the end zone. Javante Sherman will take it all the way. He's going to give a wave to the Rebel crowd there as they realize this dude's got some speed, and he has gotten behind their cornerbacks a second time today. Javante starting to prove that he might be a weapon to start utilizing. The junior absolutely getting it done, and it's a great throw from Nicholas Variato to get it down there. And it's going to cut it down to a three-point game, assuming the extra point is good, and it is through the uprights. 35-38, the shootout continues. We got a second down to seven. Once again, no huddle. Action for Ole Miss, and they're going to end up running like a quarterback, like sweet power play. Nowhere to go for Jackson Dart. Honestly, that's a play I would see with the Bears and Roman Justin Fields a lot. Don't think we'll be seeing that uh, as much anymore with Fields being gone now. And no more Luke Getty as well, too. Here we go, third down eight, looking down there, trying to find a way to convert. Hits it down to the wide receiver, and he's short. He is short. Fourth and inches coming up. And Lane Kiffin is going to send out the punting unit. And we have an opportunity now to find a way to get our first lead since the opening drive of this ball game. My goodness. But here we go. For, uh, here goes Amari Kelly on the return. Trying to get to that outside. He's got a man to beat. He's going to end up hitting him with the juke inside. And he'll take it all the way back to the 45-yard line. Offense has a great opportunity now to do something here with a short field to work with. We're going to go to the ground game, trying to stick with the Peasant running well. Going to pick up a gain of eight here on his better runs of the day. It's been tough sledding for him, for sure. We're going to go play action, back to throw, looking downfield. Going to take a shot. We want Javante again, who got behind the secondary. But Nicholas not able to make the throw. He's going to make it with third and ten. He's under pressure, trying to find a man and can't get it to him. And that's going to end up being a three and out. Well, no, not a three and out. We, you know, we just ended up having to punt it away. I forgot we had the first down. We had a good run with Peasant in the first down. But here we go. We got Julius, Lee, Julius Bentley the fourth. Yep, whatever his name is. Yeah, Bentley, Bentley the fourth. That's what we're going to go with. But anyway. Ends up picking up a good run there. And they're going to go right back to him here. Hand off to him. And he's trying to make Blue Raiders miss. We need Harris to make a play. Brendan can't do it. Off to the races is Bentley. And he is into the end zone for an Ole Miss Rebels touchdown. Making the defense look foolish on the play. And that one is going to extend this lead back to double digits. And the Rebels trying to run away with this one. No pun intended. We're going to Frank Peasant on the ground here. We're going to see what our running back can do. He's going to pick up a gain of nine here. Going to make it a second and one. Back to the air. Hitting the little bubble screen. Kellen Stewart's got it. Kellen Stewart is going to get rocked, and he's going to put it on the turf. And Ole Miss got it. And that is a huge takeaway for the Rebels, especially if he is not down on this play. I'm not exactly sure if he was down. Trey Washington, the senior safety, coming across. Laying the big hit on him. I mean, he just came and he was, he was held up. Man, I don't know, man. This looks pretty close. And we will see. The ball is out, but it's hard to tell. Is it out before the knee gets down? That elbow just caught that ball. And it does look like this one is going to be out. And Kellen Stewart, that is the wrong time to have that fumble. Not going to end up challenging it. Definitely was out. But here come the Rebels. We need to stop here. Got to at least at minimum try and find a way to hold them. To a field goal if they do get points here. They're going back to the ground game. And all right, right now, defense showing up strong here. Shakai Woods makes the tackle right there for a loss. Back to throw. Jackson Dart stepping up in the pocket. Jackson Dart is going down. Shakai Woods is in there for another sack today. Shakai Woods is showing that he might be a force to be reckoned with at that defensive tackle spot. This is a freshman. He's a redshirt freshman, but he is a freshman already back-to-back -back games with multiple sacks. He's got four on the year already. You love to see it, and they have to punt it away. 
We're back on offense. We're going to hit the bubble screen. And Javante, who's been a pretty good killer of this Rebels defense so far, picks up a first down. First and 10, going back to the ground game. Frank Peasant making a man miss. Actually kind of broke his ankles on there. He'll pick up seven. Six minutes to go here in the fourth. First and 10, back to throw. Looking downfield. Variado under pressure, and down he goes. A huge loss of 12 on the play. That's a huge sack for the Ole Miss Rebels. We are in a long situation now. Second down and 22, and at the final way to pick this one up, we're back to throw it under pressure. They sent the blitz, and we're going to hit our tight end, Willis. Willis got a good game, picks up all the sack yardage back, and then some. We'll cut it to a third down and five. Back to throw here. Variado looking downfield, and it is intercepted. Oh, that is the last thing we needed. Ole Miss was just locking everything down here. They were in man-to-man -man coverage. You can see everything is just locked up. I guess we could have went to the flat, but really, we should have just took off. We were starting to get under pressure. You guys can see the DN was coming, but that, yeah, we just got to hit that outside over there to the left. They're giving the ball to Bentley. Bentley's got space. Bentley taking off. Brendan can't make the tackle, and it's another big run for, Br uh, for uh, Bentley on the play. My goodness. Closing in on the 200-yard mark here, and right now, it is just tough sledding. They're going to hand it off to him here. Third down to 10. Big hit. Brendan finally actually makes a tackle right here. But not before it's going to bring up a fourth down and short. Kiffin leaving the offense on the field. Defense needs to stop here and not going to have it. First down, touchdown. Julius Bentley gets into the end zone. And that one might just do it here in Oxford. Oh, man. Down, down three scores now. Well, two scores, but about to be three scores with extra point. A minute left, fourth down to eight. Final hope here today. Going to send one deep. Omar Kelly has got it. Omari off to the races. It's a touchdown for the Blue Raiders. Getting a little momentum that we can maybe take in the next week versus our big rival WKU. Uh, Omari Kelly able to take one. And we will cut this lead down to 10. It's not bad, boys. Not bad at all. But unfortunately, we just don't have the firepower to compete with these guys, man. We just don't. Uh, I mean, it's a big SEC school, too. They're ranked fourth. Now, defensively, Ole Miss, they got a lot of work to do. Because even then, we were able to pick them apart a few times. We got five touchdown passes and 452 passing yards. I mean, what does that tell you about Ole Miss's defense versus our offense? Our offense isn't anything crazy, either. But we were able to get, you know, some points up on the board. They're going to take the kneel down. That'll do it. 52-42 is your final we went down to Oxford. We tried our best to try and make an upset happen. We had some moments there, just some key mistakes ended up costing us. And like I said, we just don't have the horses really to run with these guys, man. I mean, it's, 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 it was expected. I mean, we weren't expecting to really come down there and win that game. But, hey, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. But we will have to move on here and try and get prepared for the next game versus WKU. But I'm proud of the boys. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. I thought we were going to get blown up out of here. But, you know, we hung strong for the most part in this game. And then, just, like I said, a couple mistakes here and there ended up costing us here in this game. But, you know what? I like our future, though, that we're headed. We, uh, we got to level up here. So, we got some more coaching points that we can uh, apply to uh, some of these uh, recruiting things. But we can also take a look, man. We got some guys also over here that are, that are now real number one on. So, we got some guys to really, really, you know, pursue and hopefully – End up getting some good stuff out of these guys. We definitely need more and more as we come through here. But three stars right now. Hey, it's just going to have to hold it down until we can continue to prove that we can beat some of these uh, bigger teams and whatnot. And we'll see what all this ends up unfolding for us, man. It's been it's been a good start to the season. Unfortunately, we do lose. But you know what? We'll hopefully, we can bounce back and be starting to get into conference play. So we're going to get a drop down in program tradition. Not really sure what causes that, but oh well. But brand exposure does go up. We showed that we could fight with an SEC school. So, Brandon Spoelstra ends up going up. And despite the loss, Javante Sherman is actually going to end up with a play of the week. Seven catches, 169 yards, and a couple touchdowns. Not bad at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in some points here to the passing game. And then we're going to also um, unlock for the blocking O-linemen. So, it'll take less time to fully scout them. That's huge. We got a bunch of O-linemen on our recruiting board right now. And yeah, we need to know about some of these uh, newer guys that we have coming in here. So... Bob Miller getting things done on the recruiting end. And we're going to hop in here to look at Bruce Wolford, who we have cracked crack the top five of. So we are sitting at number four. See if now if we can just continue to move on up on him. And right now it's the only scholarship offer. So that is positive for us. And 
Hopefully that ends up doing well for us. We got Jamison Ismail. He still is not doing anything with him. And you know what? We decided that was enough for Jamison. We don't need any more of him. But that is where we're going to wrap this one up, though, everybody. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on everything. If you guys are new here, man, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. You know we're on the road to 1,000. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, God bless and peace. Close it out, future. It's the love from my fans got me